and just going to put in our hashtags for Periscope, and we'll be ready to get underway. So again, last call if anybody's looking to trade divisions. Again, we are doing Revolution Basketball. Just a little small three-box break. And hopefully we pull something nice. And we're up on Periscope as well. So here we go. Last call. Anybody making a trade? Otherwise, let's begin. Nothing to it but to do it, right? Let me pull Periscope up, see if we get any comments tonight. So Revolution Basketball. Uh, some of the nicer looking cards for a low end in any sport, really. Um, and there's a lot of popularity with the um, parallel rookies and all that good stuff. Did somebody, like, do that for real? I haven't heard of that incident. Oh, man. That would be gross. When I was, when I was in a fraternity, I, I, I dipped a bunch in fruit punch and put them all over somebody's car, but they weren't actual uh, game-used memorabilia there. <laughs> Oh, gosh, tell me there's a video on that Ugh. at an indie show. I don't know, but they'll be ragging on that person for weeks. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, the so somebody used. I don't even want to say it out loud. I know Periscope probably has no idea what's going on, but, um, yeah, that's gross. <laughs> uh, I would have no sold that, and, oh, my goodness. Nah, uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to see that. So Mike DeFreitas is offering the central for trade. Does anybody want to make a swap? Going to give it one more minute. Otherwise, we're going to get to opening some Revolution basketball right here. Oh, can you imagine the relic card that would make in-ring used tampon? That would be disgusting. I don't think eBay would allow the sale of that. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Tell me she didn't swallow it. I don't know. I've seen some crazy sh stuff on Japanese... Uh, Hardcore videos with the women, but uh, that that's that's beyond hardcore for me. So we're gonna start opening up these boxes of Revolution. Doesn't look like there's any other uh, offers going on for teams. So let's get it started. Again, uh, last year was a big year for basketball. Kind of catapulted things up a little bit. You know, the year before wasn't too bad, but. It hurt that the top rookie that everybody wanted, Ben Simmons, was both injured and unable to sign for Panini, as he's an Upper Deck exclusive autograph. So, last year when you had guys like Donovan Mitchell and Jason Tatum, and to an extent it was really Lonzo Ball that kind of got things started. But even even now, I feel like, like Kuzma is one people are more confident than Lonzo Ball in. And uh, and this year you got Luca, uh, definitely a big presence. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's nice. And then you got um, what is it? Oh, what the heck is his name? Um, Trey Young. And a few other. few other big names too. What was it? Mason and Colin Sexton. 
So got a pretty solid draft class when you got like five or six rookies that are getting major attention. That's for sure. All right, here we go. Box number one of Revolution. Lincoln, you might miss this. So you got Clint Capella, DeAndre Jordan, you got Mitchell Robinson, and Ben Simmons with the Astro Parallel. You got the Greek Freak, Evan Fournier, Marcin Gortat, Shockwave, John Wall, and Liftoff, Blake Griffin, and that is an impact parallel on the die cut, too. So I think these are, what, one per box? And then parallel's not bad either, so Blake Griffin, Pistons. Got Kyle Korver, um, Bradley Beal, Nikolai Jokic, DeAnthony Melton, uh, Trey Young on the Astro. That's not bad. Rut Row Gorge. So Astro parallel of Trey Young. Kyle Kuzma, Jabari Parker, Torian Prince, and DeMar DeRozan, Vortex. Insert. Jair Smith. That's not a bad one to get. You got the groove parallel with the uh, disco pattern in the back. Jeremy Lin. James Harden. Dennis Smith. And Trey Young with a base. So Trey Young, base rookie card as well. Paul Gasol, that is the Astro Parallel. Laurie Markkanen, Enos Cantor, Marc Gasol, and then Kevin Werder, Rookie Revolution. So that's uh, unnumbered. That's regular. Insert right there. And then Danny Green has the impact parallel. Reggie Jackson, Jason Tatum, Blake Griffin, Robert Williams, Jared Allen, fractal parallel. Um, Ricky Rubio, Zach Randolph, J.R. Smith, LeBron James, Shockwave. So, Lakers, LeBron James with the shockwave. And how about Steph Curry with the Cosmic Parallel, number 86 out of 100. So, Steph Curry, Cosmic Parallel, 86 out of 100. And then D'Angelo Russell closes out box numero uno. Box number two. Again, this is a three-box break of Revolution Basketball. Basketball, one of the things we have a lot of uh, inventory on hand for right now. Got Donruss boxes. Try to put basketball up in small doses. You know, last year we did a few case breaks and they worked out nice, but it's hard to gain momentum when you can't even get full cases of a lot of product on uh, on pre-book. But We try to give you some of the best variety out there. You know, we're talking uh, the other day in our year in review for 2018. Last year, in the month of January alone, we broke 52 different products. 
52 in a month different. And that was what I could count. I probably missed some because they were like, you know, little mixers and stuff like that. But we try to bring you a little bit of this, a little bit of that, uh, a dose of everything that we can possibly bring in. Uh, I could put up a basketball mixer. Oh, look at that. Is that a base auto? Nice. We got a nice on-card um, blast from the past coming up here in Revolution. I like that. So we, got, we get to see an autograph this box. Good deals. Here we go, box number two. Okay, I'll be able to check them in a little bit between uh, bedtime for the kids, trying to get contenders posted and whatnot. Uh, got Damian Lillard Shockwave. Of course, had to do shopping trip to Walmart today. And I did not get prison basketball. <laughs> Lonzo Ball. That is numbered 96 out of 100. But uh, we've posted technically seven new breaks in the last 24 hours. This was one of them, so that's already gone. Got one of the little ones out of the way. De'Aaron Fox, Joseph Nurkic, TJ Warren, and Devontae Graham. Tony Parker, Astro Parallel. Joe Ingles. That's because he plays in Utah. If he played in California, it would be Joe Ingles. Uh, Derek Rose. Rudy Gobert. And we got Donovan Mitchell. Vortex. Donovan Mitchell. Vortex insert. And then Blake Griffin. Fractal Parallel, uh, Joel Embiid, Tim Hardaway Jr., Hassan Whiteside, and we got lift off with LeBron James again. This one is a base die cut. So LeBron, and uh, for those of you who want Mo Le LeBron, we don't have Mo LeBron right now, but we do have Mo Bamba. Bailar, bailar, mo bamba, Guinness is down a poke. Okay, impact. Impact parallel on mo bamba. Do you believe in magic? Dion Waiters, Chris Paul, CJ McCollum, uh, Aaron Holiday. There's the one I didn't mention before. Aaron Holiday. The Pacers. And then we got Paul Millsap with the Astro Parallel. Russell Westbrook, uh, Nicholas Batum, Carl Anthony Towns, Laurie Markanen, Shockwave, and Joel Embiid, Impact Parallel on the Shockwave insert. Aaron Gordon, Clay Thompson, Andre Drummond, uh, Josh Akogi from Skogie. No, I don't know where he's from. We got Jimmy Butler, Disco, I'm sorry, Groove Parallel. Um, Willie Cauley Stein, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, and Clippers, Bill Walton. So, Bill Walton. Autograph. Going to go to the Clippers there. Landry Chamey. 
You got Mo Bamba with an Astro Parallel. And Miles Turner is going to close out box number two. So we got one more to go here. Box number three. Revolution. Box number three. Hey, man, when he signs a card, you don't have to hear him. So that's the beauty of it. <laughs> he may drink a little before the show, so. All right, we got another autograph. This one. Wasn't even born when Bill Walton was playing. So we got a rookie autograph coming up here. That's not too bad. One rookie and, and one, I guess, legendary status player. I don't know. Yeah, you know, some guys like to have their autograph legible. Other guys like uh, Carlos Henderson like to doodle. Got Jamon Moore who starts, he remembers the first letter and then he doesn't seem to remember the rest. You know, my four year old can write her whole first name. Why can't Jamon? He doesn't even have to write his full first name, it's hyphenated for goodness sakes. I just don't get it. Come on, man. But seems like you got better autographs in basketball than you do in, in football. You know, baseball, we're looking at Bowman Draft. A lot of them are legible. A lot of them are, are, are nice signatures, too. You know, they had penmanship. Football? Bah. I pick things up, I put things down. That's what you got. Uh, did all the underdogs win this weekend? Depends on who you're asking. The Chargers didn't win. I mean, um, the, the Chargers didn't lose. So the Ravens I would have put as the underdog in that matchup. Um, but the Eagles I would call an upset. Um, the Colts, I was, I was surprised personally. I would think that's an upset. It was probably one of the, it was probably next to the Cowboys and Seahawks, the most evenly matched up game. I don't know if the Cowboys, I wouldn't call an upset. I think they were, um, I think they were pretty evenly matched. Um, uh, the Cowboys have been carrying some momentum lately. So, Cowboys, I wouldn't call an upset. But I think next week, I don't think there's going to be too many uh, unexpected victories. Um, Shake Milton, Groove Parallel, Blake Griffin. And we're starting to see some repeats on the base. Jair Smith. Seen him once, we'll see him again. Damari Carroll, Astro Parallel. Jason Tatum, Russell Westbrook, Dion Waiters. Ready for liftoff with Anthony Davis from Nolens. Yeah, but the Chargers had, what, 11 wins and the Ravens had 9. I wouldn't, uh, or 10 or whatever they had. What did they have? Can I get that screen up here? Ravens had 10. I'm sorry. Chargers had 12. I was off by one on both. 
So yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I can't call I can't call that an upset. I think I think the um, I think the the Chargers were were the favorite in my opinion on that one. Just my personal opinion. So we got uh, Nikola Mirotic Groove Parallel. Is Mirotic a little neurotic? I don't know. Jerome Robinson, Buddy Heil to Groove Parallel. As we're grooving through this final box of our Revolution break, DeMar DeRozan Shockwave, uh, DeAndre Ayton. 51 out of 75. Philly was really favored in that one. I would have favored Philly. I think the Bears get the shaft a lot of the times. Mike Conley, Isaiah Thomas, Kemba Walker. And, and, you know, they were winning right up until the last minute. So, you know, it was a close game. Robert Williams. You got Donovan Mitchell, Astro Parallel. I think Vegas, first of all, the, the odds sometimes swing on the way people bet. So I don't know if that was like at what stage Philly was the favorite. Maybe it was uh, maybe it was after a lot of bets got placed in. Bears were a six point favorite. Yeah, it depends on what what lines you use too. Uh, Eric Bledsoe, Victor Oladipo, Kyrie Irving. And we got here Dante DiVincenzo. Impact parallel. Mark Gasol, Kevin Love. And for the Portland Trailblazers, Anthony Simons. Anthony Simons. Trailblazers. Chimezi Metu and Enos Cantor. Oh, and oh, I'm sorry, Landry Chimay. Astro Parallel. Close out the box. So again, we had some uh, some decent cards come out. Some good rookie parallels, including uh, Trey Young and Shear Smith. We had the cool die cut of LeBron on a parallel. Or, I'm sorry, that was Blake Griffin. We had something with LeBron on a parallel, I thought. Maybe not. Maybe it was Griffin I was thinking of. Mo Bamba on a parallel. And our two autographs, Anthony Simons and Bill Walton. Um, you know what? Technically, I don't do Super Bowl squares. But my daughter's softball team is doing them as a fundraiser. So I can't collect the PayPal because it would show up as like a sale for me. But we're actually um, going to figure a way to get uh, the person running it, the pool, with, um, with Venmo. And, uh, and we'll, we'll have the ability to put the squares posted on there. So, so we're going to go over a few breaks. Does anybody have any uh, personal requests at the moment? There we go. Huh. And I'm just going to pull up the breaks that we have currently filling right now. So we got the Bowman Best random case, uh, random team case. I left it up because we had one person go in and we were only three spots away. Then we had one drop. 
So I guess I'll leave it through, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. And if we don't get it to 10, then we're just going to kill it. Um, I was ready to do it yesterday. Somebody jumped in. So there's still hope. So $39 for a random team, two for 75. And that's uh, Bowman's best case plus a box of Tops Update Jumbo. Right now we have um, Historic Autograph Kings. I'm thinking of pulling it. I don't know if uh, you still wanted to do a personal box of that. I'd, I'd, ra I'd rather have them get open than, than have them sit. So if anybody wants to do a box of Kings, it's 385 that's shipped and insured. And uh, the other night, we had uh, top three out of, you know, two, two per box, four boxes per case. So there was only eight open. Um, we, had, we had Sandy Koufax. That was the top silver. We had a Mickey Mantle come on the gold checklist. And then we had Jackie Robinson come up on the gold checklist as well. So I have a baseball mixer that... I'm holding off on posting because if Kings has become available, I might throw that in as a skunk bonus if the uh, if the case break just doesn't happen. It's been up for about a week. I tried reposting it a couple times so that it had more eyes on it, and uh, eh, we'll see. If we, we move a box here, then obviously we won't have a full case. And we'll move it into some other breaks that we have uh, lined up over the next couple weeks. Or maybe they'll go in, uh, what you call it, White Plains. Because that's coming soon. So I'm, uh, Friday is coming soon. So we will be in White Plains, New York, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, at the Westchester County Center. Big autograph names all around, including guys like Chipper Jones, Tom Glavin, and John Smoltz. Uh, I can't click on it because it's posted in here. I'll have to look at that later, though. Let's see, trying to find. So some teams already starting to move. And I, I, I'm afraid to see that video. <laughs> I really hope it was a prop and it wasn't actually like... Is the Mickey Mantle worth big bucks? Well, it certainly ain't worth little bucks. Yeah, it's worth, it's worth a decent amount. You know, it's not worth thousands or anything like that, but it's worth a decent amount. Thank you, Taylor. Yeah, man, if you want to hang out, we can work something out, Mike. I know Tuesdays are... Tuesday, I got to go... We got, we got... It's like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are crazy days. But, uh... I'll, I'll see... <laughs>
Tuesday, Ellie's got her hitting clinic now. That just started. And she gets to use her new bat, so that's exciting. Trying to see if we had a, um, a personal lined up. Why does it always auto-correct me to that? Not that a not that a sweat sock that's down McFoley's pants is probably the most um, requested thing anybody's ever had shoved down their throat, but still. So, all right, he's still interested, putting the kids to bed. I know how that is. So let me go over a few of the breaks that we have up right now. Um, I won't go up over contenders yet because I haven't gotten the chance to really review that. But let's take a look at the wave post that we posted last night. We got a big 14-box pick-your-team football mixer up. And uh, we made it a little spiced up, too. We added a, a skunk bonus to this one that not only, not only includes four spots in the rebreak, all right, but we have two prize items as well. So skunk bonus number one is a Lou Holtz autograph mini helmet. And the other skunk bonus we have is a Todd Gurley autographed jersey. That's just the skunk bonus. That's in addition to three boxes of 2016 Donra Signature Series, three of the absolute premium retail boxes from 2016. Just to make sure we got a few, you know, different cards in there. Uh, a little more base so that way we know every team's going to get something. Two boxes of 17 Vertex, two boxes of 18 Certified, two boxes of Donruss Elite, and two boxes of Unparalleled. So we're taking some uh, older stuff because uh, that's pretty much what we have left right now. Contenders coming in the 11th. Um, and then all that for the Skunk Bonus as well. 10% off three teams or more. And uh, this is what we got right now. So let me just make sure. doesn't look like anybody grabbed any of these recently. All right, just checking my notification. So it looks like we're up to date on this list. So we're going to start it off with the Cardinals. Again, this encompasses three years, so you're going to see a little bit of balancing out on some of this stuff. Cardinals are 75. Ravens are 85. Bills are 100. Broncos are 100. Lions are 65. Dolphins are 55. Saints are 75. Chargers are are 70. Seahawks are 65. Rams are 75. Bucks are 35. Redskins, 40. Falcons are 50. Panthers are 65. Bears, the Bears are 80. Cowboys are 100. Packers are 50. Texans are 75. Colts are 60. Jaguars are 50. Chiefs, 115. Vikings, 50. Patriots, 75. Giants, 145. Jets, 65. 49ers, 45. We also have a three-box draft break of 2018 WWE Legends. It's $29 a spot, two for 55. 
So that means there's 12 hits expected out of that, four per box. We did have a box already that had five. So it could happen that we have a little snakeage going on. Uh, picks will be choice of a hit, all inserts and parallels, or all base. 2018 Bowman's Best Pick Your Team Case Break Plus Number 2. All right, I'll take a look at it a little bit. Um, eight boxes of Bowman's Best. We're going to do another three Onyx Preferred Baseballs. And then um, we're going to do two of the historic autographs, Capital of Baseball. So last time we did a Strips and a Capital of Baseball. Shoot, we pulled a Mickey Mantle. So we might as well do two boxes of Capital Baseball, and uh, that means there'll be four items in the skunk bonus instead of just three. Diamondbacks are 28, Braves 165, Orioles 18, Red Sox 30, White Sox are 65, Nationals 140, Cubs 125, Reds are 85, they killed it the last case we did, uh, Indians are 30, Rockies are 28, the Tigers are 40, the Astros are 22, the Royals are 20, Angels 195, Dodgers are 50, Marlins 22, Brewers 35, Twins 50, Yankees 160, Mets are 90, A's 22, Phillies 65, Pirates 35, Padres 45, Giants are 18, Mariners are 35, Cardinals are 90, Rays are 55, Rangers are 15, and the Blue Jays are 40. So we put up a new Walking Dead break. Season 4, Part 1, Season 4, Part 2. We hit some really nice stuff out of those boxes last time. We had the Andrew Lincoln uh, Silver Auto. Um, we had Eugene pop up. A few nice things. A Walking Dead Season 8 box. And then Hunters in the Hunted, which is not disappointed. Really, the only thing up on the list there that's been a little rough so far is the Season 8. We got an okay one. Uh, last box, um, number to 25 auto, but... Would have been better if it was Aaron than Eric. I mean, whatever. $25 a spot, two for 45. Draft choices will be from one of the following, either uh, each of the hit cards, all inserts and parallels from each box, and all base from each box. Again, that's $25 a spot, two for 45. And we've been pulling a lot of... Uh, Decent autographs and uh, low-numbered, uh, uh, what you call it. We got sketch cards coming out pretty frequently, so. Uh, we got more cool stuff for Walking Dead coming up, too, so. Pre-sale, four-box WWE draft style break. So it is, again, Pixel Beach from a choice of a hit. Inserts and parallels from each box or base from each box. And there's two boxes of WWE Women's Division and two boxes of the upcoming Road to WrestleMania set. And then Revolution Basketball just finished. So blink and you missed that one. Oh, you're almost there? Very cool. Yeah, and I find, like, because of the way we do the breaks, you know, if you are a set builder, like, that works out real nicely. If you get into a few different breaks, that box shows up a few times, and, uh, and then, you know, Instead of buying, you know, two boxes and still needing one of each card from every subset, you know, you, you kind of, you, you get what, you know, you get what you're looking for. Yeah. 
Is Leaf doing 8x10 wrestling? I don't know if they're going to do it later this year. Um, I think last year wasn't that kind of... Actually, they didn't do it last year. So they might. I think what happens a lot of time is they get all these photos done and then they've kind of killed the market on those names for a while. So they're, they're doing a set. Unfortunately, I did not get allocated a case um, of the new Leaf Wrestling set coming out. So whatever. So there is a new Leaf Wrestling set. Uh, we're trying to get it in. It's um, it's like the ones they did with five cards per box last year. This year they're doing eight cards per box. And uh, there's going to be more like all Japan guys and and, uh, and even some Lucha guys in it. So for the 100% um, on full wrestling nerd, there's going to be some cool stuff in those boxes. So I do hope we can get our hands on them. Uh, again, Contenders Football is up. I haven't updated the post at all. I do know that there's probably a, at least a handful of teams gone already, including some of the bigger ones. I think the Giants and the Browns are already both gone. So I think the Jets are too. Um, but that is currently filling up right now. Again, it is 10% uh, off three teams or more. Um, I got to say Contenders is going to be white hot. If anybody is looking for personal boxes, um, let me know because we do have two cases of that that are coming in. So just wait in a few minutes. Let me check my messages real quick. Uh, should be another five minutes or so we're going to be doing a personal. How much is a best personal? Um, well, it's one fifteen ripped and shipped. So if you're going to be around to pick it up, um, then it would be one oh eight. So I do have one in front of me right now, actually. I got more that I got to get in this week. Four, four autographs. So we've, we've minus this box, we've opened up three cases so far, uh, or two cases so far. I got one more case here that's got to get opened up, and uh, we have two cases posted right now. So we have a random team, and we have a uh, pick your team up right now, and then we'll still have a couple more after that which will hopefully move at the uh, White Plains show. And we're going to have
have a busy week between Contenders, White Plains. We got some awesome mixers. We've got both WWE and Walking Dead up on the board. So I think we're gonna have we're gonna have a pretty busy week, I think. So let me know. So again, Bowman's Best is available for 115 uh, box ripped and shipped, and uh, of course the locals with with pickup. Uh, uh, if I don't gotta pay the post office, then I do that. <laughs> I think these are going for 117 plus shipping most places. It will probably be a little bit lower than what the going rate is for uh, the contenders football, too. I always try to give a little uh, advantage over some of the other options out there. What is contenders? Five autos per box, right? Contenders football? So we're looking at a personal coming in any minute now. Luminaries is baseball. Luminaries, I like to call Baby Dynasty. It's one card. All right. It's not going to be as big of a hit as a Dynasty, you know, com comparison. Um, but. It's uh, a very uh, loaded checklist and also low print runs. So instead of being numbered to 10 or less, it's numbered to 15 or less. But there may be multiples of players, you know, different, different formats as well. Dynasty does that too. Usually if it's different team uh, uniform relics or something like that, but then they'll have the different um, different versions of the players. But Luminaries has like the home run uh, one and the RBI one. And, uh, but I mean, last year we we pulled out of luminaries. Uh, we pulled a cut signature one of one Ernie Banks autograph. We pulled a Bryce Harper auto. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else we pulled out of luminaries last year. Frank Thomas. Um, there's some decent stuff. And we have two boxes of it going in our next baseball mixer. So I got it sitting here in front of me. The only thing I haven't decided is uh, if we do end up doing this personal of Kings in a couple minutes and we have boxes of it left, I might throw it in that break. I might not. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. Because I could probably knock out the rest of the Kings at White Plains. So... Probably not going to put it in there. But I do want to do one thing in that. Uh, we have a skunk bonus in that baseball mixer that has yet to post. And uh, every team that skunks is going to get a uh, Angels team set, which does include Shoei Otani. So this is something 
different to throw in. Soto Super was pulled. I'm trying to think. There was one other decent Super that was pulled, and I can't remember what it was. But I remember seeing a picture popping up on Twitter of it. But it doesn't have to be a Super for it to be worth it. <laughs> We pulled some nice atomic ones already. And the last case we opened up was loaded with all the uh, with all the rookies that everybody would want. We had two Kalanicks come out of the last case. Um, we had Nolan Gorman. We had Jonathan India. And a Hunter Green insert auto. A Mackenzie Gore number to 50. Um, there was a lot of good stuff out of that last case. We had an Atomic in that one, too, and I don't remember who it was. Uh, the, the Super for, for Draft, it was pulled tonight? Okay. Yeah, man, that that got that got you a decent amount. <laughs> that was the best card you could pull out of contenders last year. So contenders is also going to be in the next baseball mixer that we have. It's gonna be it's gonna be hit loaded. Dynasty is gonna be in there as well. I pulled the random team uh, with Dynasty and Draft because. No one got any. Um, but, yeah, we, we, we managed to pull some decent stuff. That's why we got the hit of the year voting going on right now. So uh, there's, there's no bribery involved in the preliminary rounds. But we do need enough um, data in order to make a good decision to pull the final list. When we do have the final list, there will be bribery going on, and we will be um, rewarding voters with entry into some sort of a random. And we'll give away one or two things. Maybe three. Maybe we'll give away something on Twitter. So, again, I got one Bowman's Best Box and uh, just waiting on a possible personal break. So we're just, we're kind of in chill mode here. I posted up a bunch of new stuff. We went over all of it, um, except for contenders. So my clock is working. <laughs> well, yeah, we do have a clock that's working. We bought a new clock today at Walmart. Was walking around Walmart and um, I guess four teenagers came up 
to me and uh, they asked me if I wanted to be in a YouTube video. So I said, well, I've never been, sure, why not? <laughs> so they asked me what two colors make up the color blue. And I'm just like, is this like, is there some kind of a joke that's going to be involved with this? So I'm like, well, you really can't make two colors to do blue because blue is a primary color. And he's like, yes, you're right. Thank you very much. And then they left. I was like, that was weird. Very weird. But it wasn't the weirdest thing I saw in that Walmart. Gosh, I love Walmart bingo. <laughs> So, so we got we got two or three more breaks that are probably going to go up tomorrow. Um, and that'll probably be enough to carry us through to the weekend for White Plains. If hey, if we break a bunch of stuff, I'll put more up. You know, we got we got plenty of stuff laying around. Maybe I'll put up another small basketball break, too. See if we can fill that just as quickly. So we'll put Don Russ and something else in there. I don't know what. Crown Royale from last year or something. I got plenty of basketball laying around. So, again, we're taking requests for personals. Um, give it another five minutes to see if we're going to have a personal done now. Uh, elite baseball. Uh, I don't have it in right now. I'm trying to think if I'd be bringing that in for next week. I might be getting some next week. Hey, Chris, how's it going? I know when I'm putting the kids to bed, I'll usually be coming down the stairs and, and realize halfway down that one is still either attached to one of my arms or legs and they don't want to go to bed. <laughs> uh So, are you up for this and ready to go? Do a little delete, delete, delete. There you go. Yeah, we do that a lot, too. We'll do, uh, you know, I'll read a devotion or a story to the little ones that don't read them on their own. <laughs> and then the big one, the big girls will be reading something. The oldest is probably still awake right now. Probably. So the uh, Kings case break is going to be pulled. And Dynasty and Draft, too. I try and, you know, I've had requests to put random team stuff on before. And uh, so that's why I've kind of tried to incorporate it in here more often, but
So we're going to pull kings. And we'll see what we can do about maybe making that available with some other product, too. All right, so let's do this. Let's open up uh, the hand number K77. There's two sevens there. Could they both be lucky? We shall see. So here we go. We had our first look at Kings the other night, and boy, it was royal. And I don't mean a royal pain in the ass. I mean it was good. So you get first pick here. One, two, three, or four. One, two, three, or four. Numero uno. All right. So, again, this is Kings from Historic Autographs. This year, it's more of a multi-sport edition. Uh, so far, we've only pulled baseball stuff. Most of it's baseball. And you've got names like Babe Ruth, Walter Johnson, Lou Gehrig, Ty Cobb. Honus Wagner, Roberto Clemente. All right. I mean, Mickey Mantle and Jackie Robinson aren't even mentioned on this list. And that's how good Kings is. So here we go. Chris Mason, your box is going to have these two. Two slabbed cut signatures per box, one from the gold checklist, and one from the silver. Last year they released the full checklist. This year I don't know if they did. I couldn't find it anywhere. Last year they had it written on the back of the box, if I remember right. And this year they made the boxes a little too tight. A little off on that. Ugh. All right, so here we go. Autograph number one. This individual was voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2009 via the Veterans Committee. He was a nine-time All-Star, five-time World Series champion. He played for the Yankees from 1938 to 1943. Took a couple years off, uh, most likely for the war. And then played one more year for them in 46. And for the Indians from 47 to 50, he would uh, retire and a few years later surface as a manager at about a 500 uh, career winning percentage uh, with the Indians, Tigers, A's, and then Royals, uh, I believe their first season, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so again... This individual was a second baseman for the New York Yankees in part of their heyday. And this card's numbered 16 out of 18, Joe Gordon. Nickname was Flash in reference to the comic book character. But this is a much 
harder autograph to get than Tom Flash Gordon. So. And autograph number two. So first we had Flash. And now everything's going to be just ducky. This individual played left field for the Gas House, Gas House Gang. Playing for the St. Louis Cardinals from 1932 to 1940. Would also play with the Brooklyn Dodgers, New York Giants, Boston Braves, and then would come back to Brooklyn and St. Louis at the end of his career. He was a 10-time All-Star, 1937 NL MVP, winning the Triple Crown that year. Um, he would also win the RBI title the year before and after. Uh, he was elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1968. Uh, passed away in 1975. Joe Medwick. That's numbered 14 out of 15 there. So Ducky Medwick is autograph number two. And I can't find my pen. There it is. So, again, pretty much anybody in this set is going to be a Hall of Famer. Uh, you also have some non-baseball ones. You don't know Ducky Medwick? His career batting average was 324. He had about 2,500 hits. Um, for a silver, that's actually not a bad one. Joe Gordon, I got to be honest, I don't. He's not one of the guys that I remember from that Yankees team, but. Just trying to get an idea here. I don't think he was a guy who was a major signer either. Um, just to give you an idea, um, I don't really have too much as far as comps go because I don't think Gordon signed a lot. But a PSA slabbed index card um, sold recently for 159 And, I mean, that doesn't look as cool as the card you just got. So I think you could get a little bit more for that. Just to give you an idea on, on, on what the comp price is on the gold. So I didn't even, I, I wasn't even sure if that was as big of a deal autograph to have. It's, you know, again, you know, everyone, every box wasn't a winner. The first two boxes, actually, you know, that we opened the other night um, were, were okay. And uh, although Al Simmons was a good one, the cut's real small on that one, but um, that was the one with some, some value. And then uh, Joe Medwick, again, I, I think that one's actually not too bad. Trying to find an, an example of that as a comp. Um, retail on that is probably about a hundred. And some people have given up on them for a little bit less. So, but Ducky Medwick was actually like a, a major star of the 30s. So, but I was a nerd and I read a lot of baseball historical books. He was there with uh, Dizzy Dean and uh, I think Enos Slaughter was on the team. So, 
That that one for a silver, I like that one. So yeah, Cardinals. There, there's there there's a market for Ducky Medwick, and then uh, Joe Gordon, G O R D O N. Making sure. Oh, they're locked together. Yeah, G O R D O N. Isn't it nice when people sign and you can actually read it? <laughs> so, no problem. Anyone else looking for a box of Kings? <laughs> Even if you don't know who they are, they're good. <laughs> I'm just curious to see if we pull one of these big names like uh, LeBron, Jordan, Muhammad Ali. Jesse Owens would be awesome. I mean, Tom Brady and Mike Trout are silver level in this set. I'd like to see a Clemente. Honus Wagner would be amazing. Walter Johnson. There's just there's just too much cool stuff in this set. And again, even if you get a box, you know, such as this one where it's like, uh, okay, who's that? Well, there's there's still some value in there. So hey, if you're chasing after Babe Ruth or Lou Gehrig, it's kind of, you know, you're obviously taking a chance but only uh, only 96 cases in the production run 94 I'm sorry 94 cases so it's loaded with good stuff and they're now for sale so we'll get pictures of those up later so last call anybody looking for anything else tonight Otherwise, we'll uh, hopefully have something going. Usual bat time, usual bat channel tomorrow night. And tomorrow will be my sorting day. Tuesday, we'll get some mail out. And uh, hopefully we can bust a bunch of stuff between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So that way, uh, Thursday, I can get all that stuff out before I go to, to White Plains. So let's try to get a lot of stuff going early this week and uh, and rip you guys a new one all week long, all the way through to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday when we'll be in uh, New York, a little bit above New York City, and uh, ready to roll at the Winter Extravaganza. It'll probably be our topic of discussion for tomorrow, so. All right, so that's what we got. If anybody needs anything, just hit me up on Messenger. If I'm still awake, I'll break. Otherwise, good night. <laughs>